This is honestly going to be a really cool video. I'm really excited to show this Spanish learning tip because it's a huge resource that, gosh, I wish I had when I was learning Spanish. Again, at the end of the day, you have to put in the work to learn Spanish and practice it and be speaking every single day, using it as a part of your life. But whenever you're stuck or feel confused or need a translation or even like you don't know what to practice, ChatGPT is an amazing tool to get you there. So if you're not familiar with ChatGPT, basically it's an AI platform where you can pretty much get it to do about anything you want. You can ask it anything, you can do a lot of different things. So many people are using it in their businesses now and even for school, you can get it to write an essay for you if you wanted to. But what we can do is use it to learn Spanish and practice Spanish. So I'm gonna give you some examples of how you can use this. You can play around with it yourself, but these are some of my favorite ways uh, to get the most out of it. If you're not familiar with me, I'm Michael Harper. I was able to become fluent in Spanish within a matter of months. My goal is to get you speaking and having real conversations with people and become fluent in Spanish in general in less than a year or within a matter of months. If you want to know in detail how I learned and how you can become fluent in Spanish as quickly as possible so that you can actually have real conversations just a few months from now, click on the link in the description for a free training I've put together for you and you can sign up for that today. Now let's get into this video. So the first thing we can do, which is a pretty obvious thing, is we can just ask for a translation from ChatGPT. For example, I need to go to my car. Uh, actually, I should have, for example, I can say translate, I need to go to my car to look for something in Spanish. And here we go with the translation. Um, now, coche is a word they use in Spain. In Latin America, you'll use cardo, so uh, whatever. But the translation is absolutely perfect. And you could even say explain that to me here's the breakdown necesito means i need it's the first person singular form of the verb again don't get all mixed up with grammar rules but just take it like for what it is it is to go i means to i wouldn't like don't worry about this stuff indicating destination preposition like all of this is fluff to me i just want to know what is it what is a what does me mean? Possessive. Okay, got that. Car belongs to the speaker. I mean, obviously, that's like a super technical definition of it, but basically, possessive. Me means my. That's what you want to know. Uh, coche means car. Buscar means to search for. And then algo means whatever. If you don't know what an infinitive means, an indefinite pronoun, and all that other nonsense... Don't worry about that. I am a huge advocate for learning Spanish without worrying about all these grammar rules. You don't need to know this stuff in order to learn a language. Like, did you learn what an indefinite pronoun is when you were two years old learning your native language? Of course not. So anyways, this is just a really simple example of this, but we can even go even farther with ChatGPT and practice Spanish in even cooler ways. So something that you can do is you could say, let, let's pretend that you're learning the past tense. Let's, let's get even more specific. I'm struggling with the past preterite tense. So I'm going to go give me a Spanish practice quiz um, going over the preterite tense. Sure, here's a practice quiz for the preterite tense. What's the correct conjugation for the verb hablar? And then there's a quick quiz. I haven't seen a quiz like this yet where it's multiple choice. I've seen some really good fill-in-the-blank ones. So it'll give you a lot of different varieties of quizzes. But even this is pretty cool. Like this quiz seems really easy. But if I wanted to say something more like, give me a practice exam for the past tense in Spanish. And I'm going to go ahead and... Okay, it stopped generating a response, but let's see what this exam looks like. Very similar. I'm going to say, give me a fill-in-the-blank exam for the past tense in Spanish. I want to go a little bit harder. It's taking a little bit longer to think about it. <laughs> Here we go. I like this more. So, um, all right, I don't want the answers, though. So I'm going to say... With, without the answers, with, 
There we go. <laughs> That's what I wanted to do. So now I'm actually translating uh, in the past tense. And after this is done generating, I'm going to show you what we can do if we actually like needed the answers, of course. So now that we've got the answers, we're just going to say, give me the answers to those problems. And there you go, it'll give us the answers for that. So really cool way to get some quizzes and you can get more and more advanced with it. Um, you could ask it something like, I, I mean, you could just talk to it. You could go, I'm going on vacation to Costa Rica. What are some of the phrases and vocabulary I will need in Spanish in order to get by in Costa Rica? Let's see what it says. Obviously, this is really simple stuff. Um, I want to see what else it generates. And then I'm going to get a little bit more specific. Like in Costa Rica, there's surfing. Like you could look up surfing vocabulary in Spanish. You could look up, hey, I'm going to a restaurant. What are some of the things I'll need to know in Spanish? Um, this is all pretty basic stuff. If I wanted to say, I'm getting on an airplane. Give me Spanish phrases and vocabulary for this scenario. Awesome, where's the gate? Um, when's the plane leave? Do you have your passport and ticket? Uh, can I, your ID? What's the flight number? Equipaje means luggage. Maleta, by the way, means suitcase. Equipaje is luggage. So there is a difference if you ever see like a weird translation between that. Um, this, like, this is something I wouldn't worry about though, just, just so you know. But yeah, I mean, this is like some really good phrases. And, and, and what I love about getting phrases like this is I like to, uh, get at the most I can out of it. So if I'm looking at something like cuando llegamos a nuestro destino, I'm looking at, okay, what's the verb? Um, how are the, how are we using the word when? Um, how is, what is nuestro? Like, how do we use possessive? How do we say our? And then the vocabulary is like, the, the vocabulary words aren't going to change. I like to focus on the verbs. Uh, if you see my free class, by the way, you'll learn more about how to do that and how to focus on verbs and the importance of it. Uh, again, the link is in the description for that. Uh, but Basically, I am trying to figure out like, okay, maybe I didn't know what cambiar means, but I can take the word cambiar and I can make a bunch of different examples of it. And then I could check my work. So I could say, check my work uh, for Spanish. I would say, number one, um, quiero cambiar mi ropa. Number two, my keyboard's in English. Number two, I'm going to purposely make, mess, mess this up. El cambia, cam, let's say, cambiaron su boleto. It should be el cambió su boleto. He changed his ticket, but I said he, they changed his ticket. It doesn't make sense. So I want to see if it corrects me. I actually made a mistake in the first one. I actually made a mistake in the first one. I didn't mean to. I meant to say quiero, but I made a typo. Or I think that the uh, thing corrected me. But even better, I wanted to make mistakes in this. And I like that. So it actually it gave me the translation too. And it gave me what it should have been. So it says, uh, and it gives me a, a simple explanation. It might be a little bit confusing. But basically, yeah. I mean, cambio matches the third person, he. Uh, whereas... Basically, the first sentence, quiero, means to be yo, and I put, that's not even a word, <laughs> but yeah. So basically, ChatGPT can give you good vocabulary, good scenarios, good practice, good quizzes. Again, it's not the answer for learning Spanish. It's not going to like necessarily get you fluent. This should be used as a resource. At the end of the day, you have to put in the work. You have to practice. You have to do all this stuff. But again, as a resource, and especially if you're just sitting down, you don't have the mental energy to like figure out what you want to learn in Spanish. It's a great way to hop on and just make examples for you make practice things uh, maybe if you have like a journal or a notebook you can write down examples and and check your work so i hope you enjoy this video if you found a lot of value in this please give it a like and subscribe to the channel if you're wanting to learn more spanish 
this is this is really a game changer for as far as Spanish resources go. It's probably one of the best ones out there right now. Try it out. Comment below what videos you want to see in the future. See you in the next video.